Hi. Hello. 15th day after my operation, after my surgery for total hip replacement. Well, uh, uh, I can shower. That's fine, completely. And yeah, today was the first day in the morning when I woke up. I could raise my my foot straight up. I mean, my leg straight up, without any pain. Three times after the after the third time, there was some some pain appearing in a hip uh, muscles tendons. But it was amazing. I, <laughs> it was a great feeling. 15 days and I, could, I can finally raise my uh, leg straight using the muscles connected to the, to the hip which were operated upon, which were pulled apart to get into the bone because it was, as I said many times before, an anterior approach. If you do not know what is anterior approach, please watch my video which I've made um, with my doctor, Dr. Yang. He explained all the three, three major, three approaches to a hip replacement surgery. Anyway, so I feel good. Today was uh, another hot day in Taiwan, and as uh, as you see, I have um, today I have done only the very short warm ups. I put them all together into one video, and then I decided to do today only split the five element hands into singular singular ones, and I've done today only water element hands with variations which I've done uh, in a half horse riding stance which means just simply to the front uh, quite dynamically today with about maybe 50 70 50 70 percent of power depend on uh, then my uh, qua training which means the crouch around the um, hip inside the hip training and then I've done yeah actually qua would be inside and, and and around the hip or just around the hip training um, then my uh, song gong which means the loosening uh, skill and then it automatically connected this with the with the feeding uh, crane water element hands which were just done forward I mean sorry which was done in uh, shifting uh, uh, of the exercise for qua and then forward backward front and back uh, gongbu after which I've done uh, what I did is a singular uh, water element hand to front and and both sides and so on and I continued as well with the soft very soft water element hands almost like a standing position were actually what we should be seeking in Qigong besides breathing uh, breathing is, is, is relaxed still not tense like this it has to be relaxed smooth and then we are moving but we are seeking stillness in the movement stillness of 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 mind and body when mind is steady then we can start thinking about body control which body parts are tense and so on and still them doesn't mean make them dead this this this, this is not stillness this is deadness i'm talking about relax still move the hand open open nice lightly elbow as well still not like that 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 is not relaxation that is just being dead um, <clears throat> after that i followed with the triangular walk triangular walk from white crane and i put five element hands all five into it and i finished with a nice relaxing exercise of uh, bagua and um, xingyi combined which I've, uh, I, I did single uh, pakwa palm change because I, I cannot walk uh, much around. I can walk straight, but definitely not around, not turning, not twisting yet. So I can, it leaves me only with the singular uh, palm change. This is Chen, Chen Panling uh, style of pakwa. Uh, pakwa long xin luo shen zhang, which means uh, dragon eight triagrams twisting or swirling dragon palms um, and then I combine it with the with Xingyi Chen typical um, herbe Xingyi but also done very very slowly very slowly and that's that was uh, and within the Xingyi Chen I, I, I was um, seeking for stealing practice for standing practice at this stage I'm not 
I'm not going to stand for, especially recording video, I'm not going to stand for like 20 minutes or, or half an hour. It just, um, I think that would be very boring video. I can just write, please stand for how many minutes like this. I will record in future video on, um, on, on, on the points how to stand, what to do, how to breathe, uh, and what to pay attention, how to align body in, in a uh, standing meditation practice or basically standing practice. I call it uh, uh, in a stance called Wuji, which is very natural stance. And I will make videos on uh, uh, maybe on meditation. I was actually going to, to do this today, but I came out nice, wonderful, cooler evening. Uh, new spot um, in a park and I decided just to go with the exercises it is very encouraging that finally I can move the leg much freely and at home I'm walking totally without cane really um, I, I have to say I did not expect the process will be so long um, it is <laughs> it is 15 days um, it, it is relatively short I understand it but I thought it would be even shorter. Anyway, I'm quite happy. Um, the feeling of the muscle on the skin is coming back. So, okay, if I can show, this is still uh, numbness here, up to here, especially on the side. I don't feel the skin because of the anesthetics, but I can tense those muscles and they are alive. So I know that, yeah, they are there. Well, Thank you very much all for watching. Um, in Taiwan is the same. We have increasing cases of COVID. No vaccinations um, because Taiwan has problems with buying those. Not because of money, not because of politics. Political problems of buying vaccines. Um, I don't want to even start. I don't even want to start with this. But yeah, people, uh, more people are dying, people are hospitalized, system in Taipei, because mostly cluster is in Taipei, the, the system, uh, medical system in Taipei is so-called, uh, supposedly collapsing, they're going to relocate patients to other places around Taiwan. They cannot trace contacts, of course, if you have uh, hundreds of cases there, you cannot trace all the contacts. So it looks like level three is going to go throughout maybe the entire summer hopefully they're not going to impl implement level f level four if they do it should be for taipei really there's no point to do it all over taiwan where, where let's say taipei has a uh, two three hundred cases and other places in taiwan is like depends on the city one two fifteen twelve maybe twenty fourteen one 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 three you know that's yeah maybe lockdown short snap lockdowns could help but that's my opinion i'm not a decision maker I think in martial arts we should all care less about uh, politics and especially about martial art politics. That's that's a topic for another video. We should um, think about how to improve, not to beat up somebody. That's that's still another another topic for another video. Um, for me, after so many years, I'm 50. I'm 51. I'm doing martial arts since I was 12. That's really it's not a point. Um, no, we are beyond that. We, the martial arts has, have to give some uh, f sense of cultivation of the body. They have to give us tools to rebuild our body, like after surgery, after illness, um, to give us energy, to strengthen us, and to exchange information without pride. Okay? Um, and of course, pride comes that my style is better than yours. And that just, that is such a silly, stupid thing because in the end, you know, somebody comes with gun in, uh, okay, you come with gun, another guy comes with machine gun, another comes with a, comes with a tank, another with a missile, and uh, in the end, well, what's the best weapon? Well, nuclear weapon, right? I mean, seriously, it's, it's silly talk. People have different tastes, different styles, but that's um, different tastes for different styles, but that is another topic for another video. In the future, maybe. Thank you very much for watching. Good night. Keep strong, keep healthy, keep well. Bye bye.